Hello from IELTS Medical. Today, we're going to be talking about the Modified Early Obstetric Warning Score, or MEOWS. The MEOWS observation chart facilitates a standardised approach to recording vital signs, record routine clinical data, and track a patient's clinical condition to alert the clinical team to any clinical deterioration and to monitor clinical recovery. It is used for both antenatal and postnatal mothers. The MEOWS is calculated by scoring the values of a full set of observation carried out by clinical staff. On taking each observation, the result will fall into either white, normal with a score value of zero, amber, some deviation from normal values scores one or two, red, deviation from normal parameters scores three. Observations include respirations, saturations, administered O2. If not on O2, then document RA for room air. Temperature, heart rate, systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, urine, proteinuria, amniotic fluid, clear, pink or green, neuro response, A, alert and conscious, V, voice, response to voice. P. Pain. Response to pain. U. Unresponsive. No response to voice or pain. Pain score. 0 to 1 or 2 to 3. Luckier. Normal. Heavy. Fresh. Offensive. Looks unwell. Yes or no. On completion of the MEOWS chart and calculation of results, the clinician will then decide on when the patient should be reviewed again and if they need to escalate to senior midwife medical staff. All white scores. Patients should be reviewed on each shift or if condition changes. 1. Amber score. Clinician should repeat observations every 30 minutes or earlier if condition deteriorates. Seek advice from senior midwife, midwife in charge. Consider obstetric review within 30 minutes if not settled. 2. Amber or 1. Red score. Inform the midwife in charge, immediate referral to obstetric registrar, increase frequency of observations to every 15 minutes, woman should be reviewed within 30 minutes. Consider obstetric anaesthetic review, consider review by obstetric consultant. 2. Red scores. Inform midwife in charge, immediate referral to obstetric registrar anaesthetist, transfer to high level of care. Consider transfer to HDU. Consider obstetric consultant review. The MEOWS chart should be completed in full, including patient's name, date of birth, hospital number and ward. If any of the observations are not applicable, Lockyer for antenatal patient or amniotic fluid, liquor for a postnatal patient, you should put NA. Please do not leave any space blank. You should also ensure that there is a date and time entered for each observation completed and that you sign, initial your entries. We go into the MEOWS chart in more detail during our 3, 4, 5 and now 7 day NMC OSCE courses. Spaces on our midwifery courses are limited. So if you're taking the OSCE, head over to www.oskimidwives.com today. Or call 0203 637 6722. That's 0203 637 6722.